Okay, welcome to the next installment. His Glass Works on YouTube. Uh, we're going to be talking about grinding wheel maintenance. Now, many of you are doing gr diamond grinding and using our pads. Should be no surprise to anybody that steel rusts. And if you, like many of us, have left pads on your wheel, you end up with a rusty wheel. You don't want this to get to any extreme level of pitting. You want to keep this as clean and rust free as possible. So what I'm going to do, having let it rust um, yeah. intentionally of course, I'm sure, I'm sure you believe that, what I generally do is paint them to try to keep the uh, moisture off of the steel to protect it. The easy way is to turn your machine on, I'm going to have the water on, and I'm going to hit it with a wire brush while it's spinning and also a green Scotch-Brite uh, pad to get it as clean as possible. It doesn't have to look like new, you just want to get the rust off of it. Starting the wheel. I'm also going to add a little water. Doesn't take a lot. Just need to be keeping it wet. And then doing what the wire brush does. If you can hear me, you can see this, the rust starting to come off. It, it was a little bit pitted from the original rust, so that will always remain. But basically what I want to do is just get it as clean as possible. It does feel nice and smooth, but it is rusty. And I could Scotch-Brite pad. I'm going to rinse it off. Get a little more water. Isn't that pretty? But it's what needs to be done. So the wheel is dry. The rust is gone, but the marks of it is still there. I am essentially down to clean metal. The next step is to make sure it's clean and dry. Use a little lacquer thinner from my local home depot, Lowe's type store. And give it a good clean. This will absorb moisture out of the metal as much as possible and when this dries it'll be prepped and ready for paint and one thing I'm not interested in doing is painting the center pilot hole so if this is a machine that we get that we sell through Covington I'm going to remove this you can turn the spanner or you can turn the wheel this is easier Next, I'm going to protect those threads from the paint and fill that in there because I just want to paint the wheel head where it gets wet. Next, I'm going to turn it on, but I'm going to go at a slower speed. Now you're truly in control. You can pick the color of your choice. I'm using a high performance and a rust-oleum. I want this paint job to last as long as possible. And seriously, depending on how much you use your machine, it may only last a few weeks or a couple months. The idea is to cover the wheel to protect it from the moisture. Over time, you're gonna find that it will slowly pit as your pads stick to it. It will degrade every couple weeks or a couple months, you may have to go through this whole process with a wire brush, clean off all the paint, clean it up, get it prepped, and paint it again. In my shop, I tend to do this about every month or two, depending on how much I'm using it. I'm going for green. Now, ready to paint. I'm gonna protect my lungs. Protect my eyes, get my glasses on.
I just painted it and I noticed I got it a little heavy in the middle and it was, there were runs. So there's another reason for lacquer thinner. Got to get all the paint off and do it again. I also realized it would be good to have gloves on while I'm doing this. So trying to clean this off as well as possible. Now I have the wheel on the lowest speed setting and need to be careful not to go too heavy and put runs on like I just did the first time. Now we wait at least 15 minutes for it to dry. But I suggest doing this and leaving it overnight. The next day you can use it. So I'm not going to use this for the rest of the day.